Today I'm going to speak about a biopesticide, uh, the atoxygenic strain of a fungus, a good fungus, that uh, has been registered in pistachio orchards for pistachios and uh, now the uh, almond industry is very interested in getting this uh, uh, biological control in almonds so we can reduce aflatoxin contamination in almonds. And how does that good fungus work? The way this fungus works, uh, this, uh, the, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, very occasionally, the almonds and pistachios and other uh, crops are contaminated with aflatoxins and the aflatoxins are produced by uh, two fungi that uh, 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 grow in the soil, um, they, they live in the soil. When these fungi infect the nuts, uh, they can produce aflatoxins. The uh, good fungus is an aspergillus flavus, that the same fungus that produces aflatoxin, but this one does not produce any aflatoxin. And so what we do is we apply this in the fields, in the orchards, and after irrigation, the fungus uh, produces a lot of spores and displaces the, the ones that produce the aflatoxin. And we showed in pistachio research that by doing that, uh, we can reduce the aflatoxins uh, about 50%. And so, now today I will report what is our um, uh, process, our uh, studies, our research in almonds and uh, what stage we are in uh, for the registration of this, uh, uh, we call it the AF AF36 uh, strain of atoxygenic fungus and uh, 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 to update the industry um, how we can get it registered in almond orchards and uh, reduce the aflatoxin contamination. This, uh, I, I just want to uh, say that uh, the first year this was approved was in 2012 and 73 uh, uh, to 75,000 acres of pistachios were treated and this year, the second year, uh, about 210,000 uh, of pistachio acres of pistachio have been treated. Uh, so this is uh, something very exciting for the industry. Um, the industry is adapting really well and uh, we do have the same type of atoxygenic strains, strains that do not produce toxins, that uh, reduce aflatoxins in other crops like cotton seed, in cotton fields and uh, corn, in peanuts, uh, etc.